Previously on Into the Radius. All right, let's not waste too much time. I don't think I'm alone. The more I play, the more comfortable I become with the basics, the more scared I become of what's yet to come. Why does that keep happening? Shit. I'm actually considering just getting out of here. If there's enemies here, then I'm dead. Oh my lord. Okay, welcome back. I know this is the second time that I end an episode with walking out and then turning back at the start of the next, but I feel like I didn't sufficiently prepare um, at the end of last episode. Uh, but that's okay, because while I am here, we can talk a little bit about some stuff that's happened. I'm not gonna need... Okay, that's, that, that's crazy, that's overkill. Um, this game has updated not once, but twice in the week or so since my last recording, in between my last recording and this one. Uh, they've added a, a, lot of, a lot of cool little... Well, the <laughs> There's been some really nice updates. For one, the most important thing, in my opinion, is you can now... Excuse me, chair. You can walk closer to the tables and actually lean over them and do stuff without getting pushed back. See this? Makes it so much easier to think with stuff in your base. It's, it's, it's great. They have added a setting in the main menu for changing the grip angle of your controller. So you can, you know, adjust up and down depending on what type of controller you're using or what other games you've been playing that, that have different angles for that so you can feel right at home. Sprinting speed has been reined in by 15%. But strafing and backing is as fast as walking forward now, which was not the case before. So that feels fantastic. Uh, they've added several new guns. These guys were all added since last time I played. Two here, and I think there's a new shotgun. But we're not here for that. Um, and there's been several bug fixes. Apparently they figured out that sometimes physics objects would make the game crash when they interacted in weird ways, and they've tried to patch that out. So hopefully that's what I've been experiencing with the probes and the such. So that might not be the case anymore. On top of that, they've actually tweaked some stuff out in the world. I've watched a couple of friends of mine play this for the first time since this kind of took off in my social circles of so since this kind of took off in my social circles after I started playing. And some stuff out there is a little bit different than what I remembered them being. So I think they've actually gone in and tweaked loot locations and changed around some props out in the world. So I'm actually going to take a detour before we go out this time. Uh, and explore some of that. So here's my... oh, by the way... Okay, two things I've noticed. First of all, I was lamenting that I can't backhand knives in my offhand. Can still do that with the right B button. Of course, the right B button, if you're holding a gun, acts the... you know, triggers the safety and... hold up. Is this... This is bigger, isn't it? Did they go in and buff the flashlight for little old me between me going lamenting going into the catacombs and actually having to do it? I think they did. This is bigger, isn't it? <laughs> that was that was not in the patch notes. Uh yeah, if you have a gun with a safety, the B button covers the safety. Glock doesn't though, so I can still do that with this. Look at that. Haha. <laughs> Navy SEALs. They don't use Glocks either. With that in mind. Ha 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 ha. The pen has an eraser on the other end. You can't see it, but it's there. Oh, I'm backhanding the flashlight too. <laughs> Yay! I can finally fix this. <laughs> I think that's always been there. I just never knew about it. Wait, what? My actual fixes and notes weren't there. Well, let's fix that. Um, let's see. There's a catch somewhere on here. Depot is spelled with a T. Nice. Okay. Oh, by the way, the notes noted another thing. This fucker's got a pen in it. <laughs> I never knew that. I don't think it's always been there. But maybe it has? I don't know. New plan. I'm going to completely avoid this entire... The whole freaking factory in the forest. That, that whole nightmare. I have decided that I'm brave, brave enough to go for the time bubble after all. So here's my current thinking. Start out going up to the block post. Take out the mimics. I want to check out the train on the way, because that looked different. 
sneak up. I've already been near this forest. I think I think it's safe enough to either go down there and up or around this place to the time bubble and then take that or to the motor pool. I'm pretty sure resistance here. Whatever we're going to phase there. Pretty sure there's going to be less resistance there than there was near and in the factory. Although, as I think I said, I'm pretty sure we ended up with as much resistance in the factory as we did because there were patrolling mimics nearby that ended up hearing the fighting and coming to flank me. Because all of the ones that, that attacked me from behind when I was actually in there, they came from outside. They weren't in the factory to begin with. So maybe we'll still come across them out here somewhere. That is why I'm bringing yet another box of ammo. I have two healing items. I'm bringing a freaking hand grenade. I don't trust that it'll work when I do have to use it, but we can try. And I do have my four knives. Okay, let's go do that. This will be fun. Okay. It, uh, you wouldn't know. And I apologize if there's a change in energy um, halfway through this video. The part you just watched, uh, I recorded that about a week ago. Um, I came out here, I tried to switch to both eyes rendering because I turned that off back in Vano because it's all close up anyway. And I realized that OBS had messed up my, uh, had messed up my sources. Took me a bit to fix that up, and then I didn't feel like playing the game anymore once I was done with that. Here's a thing they've changed. Spawns sound like they're way closer than they actually are, and I hate that, because it makes me unable to tell if they're coming for me or not. I appreciate them giving players a little bit more of a heads up, so that it's not just as soon as you hear it, it's about to jump on you. But it just makes it unclear about what's actually going on, and I don't like that. Anyway. I'm gonna go on a little bit of a detour since it's been a long time since I played. My current thinking is, uh, rather than going straight for the factory again, spoilers, I've been watching friends play the game, one of them has caught up to where I am, did the same thing, went to the factory, turned on the power, left the zone, came back, went to the motor pool, could not find the entrance to the catacombs except for one particular looking door that refused to open. And we came to the conclusion that, oh, it must be that you have to go to go to the motor pool. See, that sounds so close. Damn. Hey. Heard that, did you? This thing is not super duper accurate. Um, must be that you have to go to the water pool after turning on the power without leaving the zone. So I'm gonna have to do that whole thing over again. Does this, this game look a bit different since last time I played? I feel like something's different. Is it just me? It's probably just me. Oh. But, because that whole thing is gonna be a procedure and a half, we're gonna go on a little bit of a detour to get myself warmed back up with the game since it's been a while since I played. Hate to break the delicious momentum from last video. Wasn't that exciting? The, the factory raid? That was awesome, wasn't it? God, this game is fun. Um, hate to break up the momentum from that, but there's stuff I want to do. A couple of things that I thought of that. It's so hard to tell where the sounds are coming from, those little bastards. Anyway. That's food. Stop number one. The floating train over there. It's always been the case that you can climb up into it. It just used to be a lot harder. Because you used to have to do something that's a little bit counterintuitive with what how otherwise sensible this game's movement system is. You could fling yourself using the climbing system to essentially jump up into the, the floating car. They sound so close, I hate it. How close that sounds. Ooh. New detector sound. Very much appreciated. I feel like there's more. Are there more trees around here than there was last time I was here? Mm, everything feels a little bit different. Any anyway, mimics gonna come out and play? I'm not. I'm, I'm totally okay with not 
spending any ammo on this leg of the journey. Oh, there they are. God, it's so loud. Like, I'm, I'm, I get the idea that the enemies that rush at you and make you react fast, they, they, they should announce that they're there before they're a threat. But that is, that is too much. Okay, I need, I need to deal with this guy. <sighs> oh, hello. Wasn't expecting you to get on me like that. Not complaining, though. Did want to deal with you. Where's your friend? Where is his friend? I don't even feel threatened at all by a single by a single mimic anymore. It's just <laughs> that's not the button. That's not the button either. <laughs> B. There it goes. Ooh, um, let's let's all ignore what just what just happened there. <laughs> Which the B button? B button is the top one. Yes. Okay. I swoop. <sighs> yeah, I don't feel threatened by one mimic at that distance anymore. They've basically been unable to threaten me from that far away, and my accuracy is great. My discipline and morale are both high. But not knowing where he is still freaks me out. There's another fella coming. He can't get up here. It's fine. See, you used to be able to get up here by grabbing on and flinging yourself up in a maneuver that makes sense with the physics of the game, but it doesn't really fit with the otherwise kind of realistic movement system. Hello. How are you doing, Mr. Fragment? But now they rearrange these crates so you can just Climb your way up and find some goodies, such as a very, very stripped down papasha. They've also changed the angle of the arm, so now I elbow myself in the face every time I pick up them. That's not good. Change that back. Perfect TT. Where are we stash it? You're sellable. Broken PM, you're also sellable. Pocket lamp. Flash light. PM mag. Where do you want in, I suppose? I guess. So here, uh, you can actually sleep here. This essentially is a shelter. I don't know how you sleep with that going on, but you can if you want to. It's noon, so I might as well. I have other ideas though, because I'm at full health. I reloaded you, didn't I? I did. Uh, our next stop will be the construction site. I'm not gonna go up the crane. Screw that thing. I already made up my mind. I know what's up there. Other people have done the work for me. And I have unabashedly watched them do it. I know what kind of goodies are up at the top of the crane. I already made up my mind not to go there, and this external information that I did not discover on my own will not change my mind. But I was reminded of a thing that I saw and never did anything with. So I'm gonna go have a look at that. Ooh, I had a thought, by the way. You know how I keep accidentally grabbing the scanner? When I'm after my knife. How about that? <laughs> Thought about that like 10 hours too late. <laughs> why, is, why, why do I hear a spawn over there? There's not supposed to be one over by the house, is there? Broken house. Yeah, with a gas. Mm-hmm. Huh, that's not just a piece of string or a piece of cloth wrapped around the, the shell. It's got a smaller string wrapped around the, the rim. And then a strip of cloth tied around that. Huh. 
Interesting detail. Anything new for me over here? I realized the thing, by the way. The UAZ. In a forest that feeds the wetland east of the office building. Office building. East. How are you so loud? It sucks. It is bad. I mean, it's good that I know you're there. Though you run away from me, I know you're there. But the sound of your presence is giving me conniptions. They are inside that rock. <laughs> Cheap. <sighs> Hate that sound. I wonder what might be in here. I had an idea. Oh, hello. I had an idea about the catacombs. I still haven't seen what those look like. But if they are as sneaky as they sound, it might be pertinent to bring a steps artifact to keep track of where you are and where you've been. Regen? Sweet. I'll take that. It's time to face my original fear with this game. Remember how much I struggled with those solid fragments before I knew that they regenerated if you didn't stab their core? That was cute. I was cute. Now, I am a vicious murderer of the darkness. That's not a, I mean, I murdered the dark, not... Oh, whatever. Hey. Still love that design. How their proportions are exactly as wrong as they need to be to be really spooky looking. Without being like explicitly, oh god, it's a terrible monster. This just is a wrong person. That's what you are, isn't it? You're just wrong. So I realized I haven't really looked at this place. Yeah, I, I felt like I did, but apparently I haven't. And also there's that down there. I realize, you know, looking back at the footage of me that been here before, you can just climb that? Or did that relate, huh? 6 a.m., p.m. Um, it gets dark fast. Um, I was just in such a hurry to get out of here that I there, were, there was a lot I didn't, I didn't really look at. There's nothing fresh in here, right? That's just for the mission. Mi Mission. So that's stuttering. Not at all like out of fear or anything. Not f still, again, not fear. I'm not afraid. A bark just... A bark, a bark just dogged outside. Startled me a little bit. It's in the middle of the day. I usually don't do this. In the middle of the day, but that's what, that's what happens with work. <laughs> that's how you open a door. Yeah. You startled me! I didn't know there was someone in here. That's new. That wasn't the case before. I want to open the door, thank you. Okay. This room. There's a fella in that I've never killed before. I don't know how that's even possible. But such it is, because there's a freaking chest in here. A friend of mine was just mosing around up here, and I was like, what the hell? Since when? Since when was there this? Since what? I thought I exploded this whole place. No. No, I didn't. Probes. Kind of worthless. Flashlight. Kind of worthless. Gun. Sells for money. Knife. I'll keep that. Anything else? No? Okay. Well, happy to get that squared off. <sighs> it doesn't seem to matter how hard you try. What? No, it doesn't seem to matter how much ammo you think you're bringing. Suddenly you're out. As a whole box, just on fragments. Now, what do you guys say? We go spelunking. That's a lovely idea, isn't it? Tally-ho. Immediately, suddenly, things feel 
very claustrophobic and dangerous. A little bit uncomfortable. Oh, this feels worse than I thought it would. I know there's nothing but fragments here. I can hear that there's nothing but fragments down here. But golly, there's Buki. Hello. Didn't really mean to shoot you. That's why I'm holding a knife. But I got scared. It's been a week since I played, you guys. Two shots. I don't know what determines how much damage these things take. Oh, fucking shit, you scared me. <laughs> don't do that. You're mean. What, where was he? There we go. I hate how reverberant everything is in here. This, is this not the, what the catacombs are like? Please say no, because I don't like it. I'm gonna fix this. What was he doing? He die like that? There's a thing that's really horrible about the fragments. Horrible is a strong word. It's spooky. Maybe I should try popping a night eye. Maybe I should bring a night eye to the catacombs. Hmm. When you shine a light on them, the solid ones especially, you see just how just pitch black they are. They don't have any color, any texture. They're just darkness, right? When you then are shining a light on them in a black room, their shadow behind them as they walk closer to you becomes larger than they are because that's how shadows work. Hmm, there's a little bit of a lag spike every time I kill an enemy. That wasn't the case before. Another one? Let's get up on two. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's strange. There's a lag spike every time they poof into non-existence. That was not the case last time we played. There's been, again, there's been two updates between now and then and now. Dude. Hello. Do headshots work? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Am I, am I even hitting you? Excuse me, sir, have I been hitting you? Yes, yes I had. Otherwise that wouldn't have worked. It's not the button I meant to press. Five. Yeah, as you get close to them and you have a light source in your gun, their shadows behind them grow bigger because of the way the light, you know, the shadow casts on the wall and that makes them look bigger and it gets hard to see what is the fragment and what is its shadow. They kind of look the same. Is this is what I came up for. This is just a big old labyrinth with two chests at the end. Excuse me. Where are we, anyway? It's like 10 bucks. It's like 5 bucks. Uh, by 39. No? Oh, what was this? Thir 544. Oh, 545. I'm an idiot. Somehow I saw 545 and I read that as 762. That is... That is not a mistake you want to make. No, 545 is not for the AK. And another sawed off. And most an ammo. I'll take that. I will gladly take that. Is 
Is that it? Okay, well, happy to say I've explored this place. I didn't realize it was going to be so, like, extensive. I actually thought, looking down at it, that I was like, ah, it's probably going to be, like, a room with a fragment in it and a corridor, or, like, you know, a nook with, a, with something in it. I don't know what that thing would be. This is quite a little maze. Doesn't help that I am legitimately slightly claustrophobic. I don't like tight spaces. I don't even like tight spaces in VR, believe it or not. It's one of the reasons why I've never bothered to play, play Phasmophobia, no matter how many times I hear my friends go, oh, it's not scary, it's just kinda, you know, it's like a detective thing and it's a little spooky, but it's like you're having fun with friends now, but it's you're inside dark places, you can only see a limited thing in front of you. And it that that part, not being able to see more than a little cone around your face, this that that is one of the things that makes me feel claustrophobic. Give me night vision goggles in Phasmophobia and I might be okay with it. Also have it set outside in a nice cozy post-apocalyptic forest instead of inside freaking schools and ugh. I think that's it. I can't find anything else down there. Um. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Um, this game doesn't like you throwing things upwards, does it? Oh no, that works. That works. That totally works. It's gonna... <laughs> I got this. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna end up losing this thing. Aha! <laughs> Ah, VR telepathy. Okay. Uh, that's what I came here for. Here. This is what I came here for. I'm gonna go back home. Ah, ah what the fuck? There's one of there two of you in here. The fuck was that? Huh. What? Since one of there are two of well, I guess one of them's usually zipping around on here. The other one I guess is the one that tends to get stuck down by the girders, huh? Okay, well, that's it. I'm going home. I'm hungry and tired, and I did take a little bit of damage just then. Uh, I have guns to sell. I have no desire to go continue with the main mission tonight. I should be throwing probes. It is very dark. Here are two clickies. I might. Let's, let's do this. Hold this. Thank you. Of course, that's not gonna let me through. Shit. Nah. 
Nope. Never mind. Has that light always been on above those guys? That's awesomely spooky. Have I ever been here at night before? I don't even know. I like that. It's a good touch. What the? The zombie out here? Can't see. It's too dark. I don't like it. How is that light on? Oh wait, we're in the zone. That's how that light is on. <laughs> I forgot. Just zone things. I feel like my vision is like vignetting back and forth probably from the tiredness. So is that what that happened? Is that what happened there? Is that what happens when you get tired? Never noticed that before. Yeah, my eyelids are like slipping. That's unsettling. I didn't check if they, this guy had anything. No other tape. And a bullet number 18, I believe. Oh, walking is so slow. I'm heavy. I'm hungry. And I'm sleepy. <laughs> and in the game. Yeah, I'm almost out. Just gonna need two more minutes to get to the edge. It's right there, I can taste it. There's nothing between me and there, I just gotta, just gotta walk. I had a chocolate bar with me, pineapple, I could, I could eat that and it'd be a little faster. Well, I don't want to waste it yet, because I'm gonna go home and sleep. And I'm gonna eat after I sleep anyway. So it's just a waste of food. Finally. I guess the eyelid thing happens even in the loading screen. yet. I realized why all this stuff is in a train, by the way. I, th I thought it was just like, oh, it's a cool thing to have. To have your stuff be in a train. That's, oh god, was I this broke? Holy crap, I didn't realize. I thought I had like a couple thousand bucks to move on. What happened? Yeah, I was like, eh, it's, it's cool that stuff's on a train, I guess. Um, but obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously the flavor here is that, uh. Hey devs, this this cube's not supposed to be visible, is it? This is a this is a, like a just a primitive to mark where uh, where the border for an object being inside the. <laughs> okay, so it's, that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously the implication. Fuck. Obviously the implication here is that um, you put your stuff in there to be repaired or to be sold. Or you and you buy stuff, and then this thing, some a train is gonna come by at some point when I'm asleep. Those door gates gonna open. It's gonna drive here, connect to this, take it away, drive a new one in with fresh supplies, and they drive out off to be uh, researched or sold or repaired. And then when it's done, they do the thing, same thing again. That's a good idea. I've been I've been thinking about that from a flavor point of view. That it's kind of weird that you have all these well allegedly these explorers out in the zone. Like I'm the only one in this particular base. But who's to say there are there aren't fifty of bases like this all around the radius, with these trains making doing circles, and you know restocking all those bases. Um, I feel a little bit bad, like being going out to all these places where it's oh. like, oh, there's a shelter here. It's got, it's safe. It's got guns and, and food and stuff. And I just take all of it and I take it back out of here. <laughs> so if anyone needed a safe place to stay or an extra, just, you know, a meal, and they're like, oh, there's a shelter on Mark's map. Good, that's good. I have supplies. Nope. Nope. No supplies for you. I stole all of it. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hum. 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 Walk snow. Okay, I'll have to do. By the by. Happened to know. 
because someone else found it for me that there's some stuff in this building as well back at base. The Y1 immediately left of the gate. I don't think there was anything more than that tape and the chocolate. Worth a look though. I noticed this map. Which is different. See this? I wonder if this is like from a beta version of the game or something. What's what what's what over here? What what do we have? That road's the same, isn't it? That's where the where the people are. That's the the wetlands. Um the construction site would be up there. Trucks. Is, uh, yeah, that's the road to Bulaki Village, isn't it? Quarters in the same place, factories in the same place. Yeah, this I think this is like a beta map. Cute. Anyway. Don't need to take this with me. However. Look at this thing. That goes for that too, doesn't it? Ooh. Tape time. Explorers. Six years ago, there was a spike in explorer disappearances. This matter is still under investigation. All explorers are encouraged to share any information they may have regarding any missing personnel. Thank you for your cooperation. You may not have chosen I. Explorers, six years ago, you may not have chosen isolation within the exclusion zone, but take comfort in the fact that you are doing heroic work that benefits all of humankind. believe that these are all uh, copyrighted because that's the that's the soundtrack you can buy it on iTunes Explorer 12 log 13 2 night eyes why do i have this stuff over here if that's going to keep happening UMPSC Explorer 12 log 13 2 night eyes night eyes are called as such because of their distinct appearance resembling a glass eye night eyes give you something similar to night vision be careful though Side effects could include sustained retinal damage if you accidentally find yourself under strong lighting while using a nova. You won't go blind instantly, but an explorer researcher I knew found this out the hard way. He decided to activate the artifact on base under the bright lights of our laboratory. Yep. This is generally broken, isn't it? UNPSC, Explorer 12, Reflector. Reflector. Oh, is that the shooters? to be a transparent pulsing dome, yep. 7 to 9 meters in diameter. This dangerous anomaly projects any non-organic object back the way it came with supersonic speed while also hitting it by several hundred degrees. If you walk into a reflector, it will throw you back several meters and emit a sound. Reflectors aren't that bad as far as anomalies go. They give you fair warning before actually doing damage. All you have to do is step aside. If you get hit by the beams, though, you and your equipment may sustain considerable damage. I recommend proceeding with extreme caution near this anomaly, as it has taken the lives of several UMPSC researchers who have tried to analyze it. Reflectors, huh? I wouldn't. I would have thought if you walk into that thing, it's going to shoot you point blank and all the beams hit you and you take shit tons of damage. But I guess not. That's good to know. I've been very scared of walking too close to them. UMPSC Explorer 12 on 13-2 Night Eyes. Night eyes are called as such because of their distinct appearance resembling a glass eyeball. Are they? Okay. Night eyes give you something similar to night vision. Be careful though. Side effects could include sustained retinal damage if you accidentally find yourself on the I had a theory about tapes because I watched someone on YouTube play the game. And he was just collecting tapes and tapes and tapes and tapes and not listening to any of them. And he had like 20 of them lying on, on the table. Uh, and I was like, How, why, why are you not listening to them and why do you keep finding so many? And then I thought to myself, I wonder if the game... Because the game doesn't know if you've listened to a tape or not until you've put it in the machine. So my theory was maybe it keeps feeding you the same tapes until you listen to them so that the game knows that like, okay, we will stop generating this tape now, you've found it. Because it's possible you can find a tape and then die before you listen to it. And if the game was done like, nope, you're never going to see that tape again, then that would be bad. So it was my theory that the game perhaps 
can generate duplicate tapes if you don't if you never listen to them. And that's why just he had so many that he never chose never to listen to them. <laughs> quite silly, quite silly. I'll bring cleaning supplies. I'll bring a night eye and a region and two healing sprays. Plenty of food, including one of these. Lovely hazel. These look tasty. I like hazelnut chocolate. It's good. Uh, and those are for selling. Five magazines. 14 plus 50. 64 plus 5 mags. That's, that's, that's okay. Next time I go out. I'm gonna snipe the mimics of the block posting and actually go up this way. This is the forest that the harvester is in, right? He goes around this area. Um, this looks dangerous too. Considering both that and that is full of mimics. Well, there's two over there and like a billion over there. Wouldn't surprise me if this entire area is just guarded by mimics. Like if you travel further north than this line, there will be mimics. It's my, it's my feeling. Still, I think I should be able to go up here and sneak around in this forest. Maybe take the road. We'll see what it looks like. Or take the forest. Downside of the forest is I can't see what's around me. Upside of the forest is things can't see me either. I want to go for the time bubble. And my thinking is this. If I can clear out the motor pool first, then I'll know whether or not I'm good to go. If I clear out the motor pool and I'm still good on health, and I'm still good on ammo, then I can go down to the factory, hopefully maybe sneak in from the back, flip the switch and get back out again. And then clear out the catacombs, whatever that entails. If there's anything to clear in there, I don't know. Maybe there's nothing in there. Maybe the motor pool is just shock full of mimics and then the catacombs are... then you're done. I don't know. But in the event that that's the case, I feel like this is more difficult than this. Going for the more difficult thing first means that if I have a bad run, I mess up, something ambushes me, then I can just bang. <laughs> the way I did before. Come back and try again. Whereas if I go for the factory first, that ends up being a fight, and then I go for the motor pool, and I realize that I wasn't prepared enough, then I've wasted a lot of time doing both of those things. If you start with a difficult thing first, then you can judge whether to actually complete the mission, or leave and try again. I don't know, the more I think about this, the worse of a plan it feels. <laughs> but if I can avoid everything around the factory until I've cleared out the motor pool, perhaps the action at the motor pool will draw the stuff at the factory to me, I don't know. But I think that's what I'll try next time. The blog post. Pass the harvester, get the time bubble, go for the motor pool, then clear out the factory after I've cleared out the motor pool. That will be my course of action.